Welcome to Living One Day Older. We provide a broadcast on LinkedIn every Saturday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Today, though, we share the most unique opportunity with my friend, Lena Zaritsky, who shares with me her members from her Telegram group, Let Go Gals, geared towards sharing health and wellness with women who are 40 plus, me and her. So Lena has introduced us to a few ladies here. We've got Paulina Perez, I'm getting nervous with these names, friends, and Sol La Argentinita. Let me bring them all on. <laughs> How'd I do, girls? Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> It's Love a tongue it. tie for my my tongue is not is not exercising this language, which Paulina, who is a Spanish teacher, can appreciate. Right? You you understand these things. This is of what course. you teach. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I want to start with Lena because she is my friend for many days. We've got um, these ladies here. Uh, you know, with other members are sharing with us how you too are invited to. Immerse yourself in the world of flamenco in the picturesque regions of southern Spain. They've got a retreat coming up. Very limited group of people are allowed, so pay attention. Um, this is happening in February of 2025, and how exciting. So, Lena, you come from the world of art and dance, from Hawaiian dance, and now flamenco. How long have you been doing flamenco now? Well, I've taken a few classes. <laughs> with soul and i'm looking forward to that retreat i'm organizing it because i understand the connection between uh experiencing immersing yourself into dance and uh, finding new life finding new understanding what does it mean especially you mentioned that my group is for women over 40. So this is a time where a lot of changes are happening or kids are growing up or, you know, women looking to step out of their comfort zones. And uh, since I was always uh, two things I'm passionate about, it's women entrepreneurs and arts. <laughs> so dance, painting, yeah. anything yeah. that has to do with art. So, uh, and these lovely ladies, they're entrepreneurs. There's a lot of wonderful artists that now presenting themselves, building their own schools, building their own brands online. And I thought it would be an amazing opportunity to connect um, Sol and Paulina Porras. Sol is a flamenco dancer known from all over the world. <laughs> uh, and uh, Polina Porras has her own school. She's a visual artist. She's a Spanish teacher. So this is something we're playing around with and I'm very excited to present it to everyone. Yes, you're in New York. You and Pauline are in New York um, and um, Sol is coming to us from Spain. And yes, I, I was reading up on your site. Um, you've got Sol uh, your members of Flamenco Isol uh, have performed at uh, major locations all over the world, including the Metropolitan Opera and the White House. <laughs> Did I see that right? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about so. Hi, Soul. Introduce hi. us to you. And how did you come to the world of uh you know, dance and uh, flamenco in particular? Well, um, I w I'm from Argentina. That's why uh, my stage name is Argentinita. And I saw El Torombo. El Torombo is a flamenco dancer who came to Argentina. And when I saw that day, that dance, uh, there was like a before and after. I fall in love of, you know, all the, the it was like, it made a profound impact. And, and I thought one day I'm going to study this. So when I was about 20, I, I moved to New York and it was a very hard time in my life without learning, you know, knowing the language, leaving everything behind. So I looked for a place where they will have flamenco, a restaurant just to work at, and see the show. I never thought I was going to end up being a flamenco dancer. So I started working as a, as a busboy, you know, picking up just to see the show. Well, years go back, I started taking class in and very quickly uh, because I remember since the first class, I was so looking forward to go to my class. It was like, uh, it really helped me a lot going through, you know, that that time that it was very hard for me. 
and um, and yeah, I, I was looking forward. And then I started working in the tablaos in New York City. And very quickly, I started traveling and working. I worked with Noche Flamenca is, uh, and Soledad Barrios uh, for many years, touring. And yeah, so yeah. and now I, I am uh, currently in Granada. And I, I know I, I, I met Lena and I told her I'm doing these experiences uh, in my house. So people have to, you know, they, they, were, they will be in my house, so they are going to see that I, I, I perform now in the caves in Granada. So hopefully, you know, they, they're going to be, yeah, they're going to be living uh, the culture, right? Yeah, so. Yes. Well, it, that is a, that is a tough, um, you know, we all should really, I, I did something similar in my 20s, moving from, not from another country. So I can imagine how like stressful and the challenges, but you know, it's really what shapes us are the, uh, are the difficulties in life and how we, uh, you know, we gain confidence from going through that experience and seeing that we can do it, right? We can do it. And look at you, you picked up this amazing art flamenco, you know, just out of the blue. All, it was brought to you, I think it's a gift and um, it's what you meant to do. And um, you, have um this incredible retreat coming up in february in the um is it in or around grenada grenada granada um, yeah how, 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 would, how do spaniards prefer us to call it granada granada okay yeah 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 so you're del Ecrin, and it's, it's a wonderful wonderful place very very um you know, uh, like it, tranquil, it right? Movie. Very, yeah, very quiet. But we also we are uh, like twenty five minutes from Albaicín. That is where every everything is is happening with you know the the gypsies and the caves and everything. So yeah, and then wow. like I always tell my students, like you know, flamenco is not about learning the steps, but it's about expressing your emotions and do it with an open heart. And you don't have to speak Spanish. But, it, but it's, it's, it's so important if you understand or if you speak a little bit, like, because it's part of, it's not just steps. It's, it's, it's a way of being and, and, yeah, just to be here and eat all together. Uh, I remember we had this teacher that before she left, she did a workshop and she before she left in the airport say, remember, girls, eat all together that that was more important than practicing the steps right right yes and that is a great segue to paulina let me see my yeah. pointing fingers so paulina is a performer and spanish teacher who has met uh lena through um I'm going to assume uh, Let Go Girls. I'm not sure which, um, how you all through the art community in New York, but yeah. why don't you tell us? Yes. Tell us a little yes. bit about you. Yes, actually, yeah, through the art community in New York, through a mutual friend, uh, through the art performance uh, community here in New York. I met, I met uh, Lena. Um, I grew up bilingual um uh, russian and and spanish because of my parents my mom is russian my dad is mexican so i grew up bilingual and then i became tri trilingual when uh, i immigrated to the states um when i was a teenager and uh, so languages have always been part of my life now i'm learning other languages because i see the the power of communication com communication and you when you learn that one you when you learn a new language you're also learning the culture of of uh, the people who speak that language uh so in in the case of spanish like if you think about it, how many millions of people speak Spanish in the world? Uh, all of the, most of the Americas and, and Spain, of okay. course. So, so you're gaining an amazing, an amazing uh, entryway into so many cultures. And in the case of Spain, as uh, Sol mentioned, is like understanding and starting to understand and to feel the words of the songs it's such a 
such a rich experience like because you're adding adding it to the to the passion to the expression of the dance so that um yeah that's yeah. part of the language um and and also my love of of uh dance as well and art my spanish classes are always interdisciplinary multidisciplinary uh lena has taken some of my classes and i like to <laughs> to mix up, like bring art and history and culture and, and current events and, and pop culture and, and songs. I want to take your class. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds amazing, girls. Like, oh my gosh, you're going to have such a blast together on this retreat in February yeah. in Granada, Spain. My gosh. Yeah. yeah. You know, Paulina, my, um, I, I'm, you know, uh, for whatever reason, my limitation with language um, is only English and here in America. Um, but I am raising two young adults. Um, one is still a teen and the other is a very new adult and who took Spanish in, in high school. And I keep trying to um, share with him that he should, you know, maybe download an app. And he's like, you can't learn a language in an app, mom. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we want him to study abroad, and I um, have some friends in Seville and Granada, and uh, I would love for him to study abroad over there. Uh, I don't think he should wait. I think he should be practicing here, but it's, you know, he's a teen, you know, an adult teen, uh, kind of hard for him. But, you know, here you are, though, teaching adults with the adult brain, which is, has a lot locked in already. How do you help the adult brain open up to learning language? Because I'm, I'm dabbling in Italian, and you know I can I can, you know, um, mimic the terms. But then the minute that I, you know, try to use it in a sentence, I just forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I I like to play and make it fun and make it not so precious because as an adult we're so afraid of making mistakes mm -hmm. and and we're so judgmental about ourselves and making it perfect every single time and as women even more we want to make it perfect and i from day one i say look we part of the learning is making mistakes and kind of be like a like a performance artist like oh yes like we kind of like it, it's 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 all a, a game it's a, a play okay let's let's practice these words even if they don't make any sense or i don't know what i'm saying but i'm practicing i'm saying the words and and maybe learn a song and maybe a children's song or maybe another another song or a poem and just like memorize of course it takes a lot a lot um cognitive cognitive yeah. memory yeah. and yeah. that's when yeah. we're more adult we kind of are not using uh this this skill so much which is wh why why we're not doing it we we have to we have to continue this is what keeps us young as well as dance like the dance, brain health dance, brain health Yes, dance and language is like what's going to keep us healthy and young forever. What do you have to add, Lena? Yeah, I want to add because I'm taking exactly uh, what Paulina described in what she calls Spanish flow. There is no like one, two, three. There is a group yeah. of people that sometimes, you know, closer to the level. Some is, some people are beginners. Some they like already were introduced to Spanish. But we're all about talking to one another, trying our best, meeting new people. And this is also, that's why I wanted to promote language school on my platform, because I feel it gave me such a new skill and opportunities. Like I started something like learning a new language and Spanish was completely a new language. <laughs> me and Paulina was after me for like a, at least a year <laughs> you know texting me when are you gonna sign up when and I, I'm so glad I did first of all it just really expanded into the other areas of my life I feel more alive I have better memory you know I'm like I have more focus about like things that I do on a daily basis somehow it's magically 
um, you know, made my life a happier place, <laughs> just taking that class. And same goes for dance. So I, I think, you know, with Polina, and I, this is why I like her class, because it's not like, um, it's not pressuring you into taking it too seriously, but more like an enjoyable experience. Which I think what you and Polina have both brought um, to the forefront of this um, experience is, you know, Polina, you were talking about, you know, all this play, and I just could not stop in, um, in, with the imagery in my head about us becoming children again. And with Lena's uh, testimonial to the joy aspect, I think that's where we can lock in. We, we, we remember what we enjoy. You know, it's like the joyfulness, because when you're little, uh, play and learning is often um, is completely what, you know, is, is tied in because children are always in a playful, when they're younger, they're always in a playful, um, mode. And if you, when you bring in, um, learning, cause it's always learning, right? That's what life is. It's, uh, it's, it's certainly something that when you touched on that, I just imagine like us really connecting with the child in us playing again, and, um, you know, your, your point about uh, brain health, you know, studies are out there yeah. about, you know, um, we, you know, with with uh, learning how to, you know, they talk about like take like when you're walking on steps, you're kind of not supposed to look at the step because we actually have a peripheral and I'm not, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I've read these studies that your peripheral, it works. And your um, sense of space with yourself, yeah. it works. And when you start to remove that and become very paranoid and start looking at the step mm. instead of, you know, I do a little trick um, when, because sometimes my hip might go out or my knee might go out, you know, I mean, like, you know, sometimes you have these ailments that, you know, are tripping you up, right? <laughs> Literally and hopefully not physically, but I do a little thing where I kind of touch the back of a step with my, uh, with my um, heel, just to make sure I know where the step, you know, if I'm not sure of my stepping, but you're not supposed to look, we're, we're making it become too, um, too much in the mind and removing ourselves from the experience of simply walking. We've been doing it our whole life, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, going back to, um, going back to soul, I want to go back to soul because uh, she's got this incredible retreat coming up uh, that she's hosting that Lena and uh, Paulina have uh, created this. Um, I guess you guys have created this uh, group. How many people are coming? Uh, what's the invite list look like? It's a small group, right? You know, Good. this is the first time we're doing this. Uh, when like not looking to expand more than ten people, I have That's to say. Neat. It's That's a great. Place uh, in terms of a group because not the place itself because there are two houses. And uh, there is a chance to say to stay in authentic home, and uh, just only two girls, which is like seven minutes away from the house where Soul is hosting. Uh, the dance studio is within the house, so we are actually offering Spanish classes on a daily basis and dancing classes mm -hmm. on this daily basis with the performance on Friday because soul will be teaching us a dance and we're going to perform on stage whoever wants to perform <laughs> no pressure whoever wants to because we want to perform. Because the palmas you know in flamenco like the palma that in spain here there is people that actually make a living doing palmas they call the palmeros so yeah so no pressure but yeah we will have a final performance what's the palmas What's the palma is the hand clapping. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. So there is two kinds of palma. The palma sorda is palm to palm and the palma clara. So uh -huh. when you do the palma, it's not like any bravo, bravo. That's another kind of palma. So in flamenco, it's like, you, you know, everything is, is very, like, if you move your hands, like, wow, amazing. Like, you know, it, it's like todo muy exagerado. Y, yeah, so they, they, they can always, they, and the palmeros is like the glue that bring us all together, the rhythm. So yeah, right. It's very, very important. 
Yes. This sounds like such an intimate experience and really a zero um, intimidation for, you know, traveling. It just sounds like such a great, a great group to um, meet at the airport and uh, let the adventures begin. You've got a, um, uh, a, um, oh, what's the word? I'm going to say agenda, but that's not the word. Um, <laughs> itinerary. The itinerary you have um, is, um, you know, you arrive, right? And uh, maybe relax a little that day. You get to know probably dinner, I, I assume. We you want to tell us about your itinerary? Yeah, orientation dinner. We're hosting at the beginning so everyone can get to know one another. Yeah. And then next day, it's going to be a playful way, as you mentioned it, uh, somewhat relaxing, but in, in a relaxed kind of way, you get to experience and step out out of comfort zone <laughs> because you didn't mention about playfulness but we're talking about women who are over 40 and i think flamenco it's such an emotionally charged dance it's a lovely dance to express emotions mm -hmm. and uh, this is what i experienced and i wanted to share with other women and i'm sure soul can talk a little bit more about it because it's very important point of this retreat yeah Let's yeah. I guarantee if you come to this retreat, you're going to fall in love with life and with flamenco and with language. It's mm -hmm. going to be so much fun. And I've done these retreats a, a couple of times, but all by myself. And so when Lena uh, told me, I was like, yes, yes, that would be nice to have some help. <laughs> yes. Incorporate uh, because I was, um, yeah. Uh, doing it all, but I am very, very excited to now, you know, have the ladies with me, and yeah, yeah it's going to be so beautiful, and it also inspired me. Every time I do it, it's like a new experience, and it made me fall in love with, with flamenco and with the, the art form, and with life all together, and that's why I, I keep doing it, um, yeah. yeah. I see. So this is a retreat that you've often have um, offered, and Alina and uh, Paulina have come together and said, let's let us bring a group to you. That's great. Yes. Congratulations. To... Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> great. Great. Um, I have to say, Paulina does retreats as well, but to Mexico. It's a Spanish language retreat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right. that's where the idea came from. I combined these two ladies and maybe the next one will be happening in Mexico. Let's yeah. See. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, uh, ladies, I've really enjoyed this um, this time shared with you all. And I think uh, at this point, what we'll do is um, we'll put your links in the uh, comment section of the posts. I'll be posting this on um, the I've got a living one day older Instagram, living one day older Facebook group. And I will put it on my LinkedIn under Amy Hammond LinkedIn page, and I will place it on my YouTube channel as well. So anybody can grab the, um, mm -hmm. the link from there and um, look it up and, and see the dates and start budgeting and planning and asking off time off work and time off the family for mm -hmm. you, for you ladies to have your time to explore yourselves again and uh like lena was saying you know the emotional impact this this will have will have it will have on um your life i would like to be able to say this word on our lives because i would love to go so let's see if i can arrange it <laughs> let's see wait a minute where is where is it where is it will the, will the camera pick it up no? you just see me. Uh, the camera's not very nice. Oh, to no, me. I see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> it was lovely, really lovely having you all oh, and meeting oh, you. So, uh, adios for now, and uh, oh, I'll say goodbye oh, in just a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, thank you, everybody. How fun was that? If you would like to come on to uh, Living One Day Older on my LinkedIn broadcast, I usually broadcast to the 50 plus group. But you know what? We dipped down today. We went 40 plus. And if you're somebody in your 30s and you're like, oh, I want to go, come on in. We are, we are uh, all welcoming. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.